Good afternoon, everyone. This is Henry, and as we get into tonight's review, I wanted to keep things relatively focused. Uh, a focus on Fibonacci here might make sense. A little bit of repeat for those of you that have been following the work day in and day out, but all the same, it continues to work well. So let's spend a few minutes. I know this chart may seem a little bit annotated, but you've got some pretty important levels. So let's begin by looking at the major 618 retracement of this swing high to this swing low and how the level at the 618 retracement had been such a pivotal pause, right? That's what I sometimes tell traders to think about as the belly button level. Anything that you can do to make your mind remember importance of things, call it a self-fulfilling prophecy, call it you know patterns that just unfold in nature. If you took your average human from heel to crown, this is about where you would find the navel. So an important retracement for a lot of different reasons. You can see that the market comes in right around 130 points in the S&P. And why is this so significant? Well, because after failing at your 618, you then move to have a symmetrical move in relationship to the decline that led you here, in relationship to the decline that was most meaningful before that advance began. So you can see all of this was, you know, was uh, what preceded that was this drop. Those were almost identical. Now, if you followed me to this point, you'll start to see the importance of this external retracement. So failure at 618, find support at symmetry. And then all of today's action was focused around that external retracement of 4070. So swing high to swing low, projected out into those levels, pausing right at it. And you can see a very similar relationship here in cash. So if you just wanna use the SPX as your index of choice, you will see that same relationship and look where we opened today. Not only is it important from this, you know, kind of measured Fibonacci perspective, but it's right at the 4050, which is a huge psychological value. Now that target was hit. You pull back to fill the gap and then close at session highs. This pattern bodes very well for 4083, if not 4100. And that is the path that I'm going to be keeping in focus for tomorrow. So, of course, you have to manage your own trades, your own risk. And if tomorrow is totally off on that economic data, I'll have to adjust. But generally speaking, any weakness down into here, I believe, would be an opportunity to either set up a like a 4085 butterfly, maybe a 4100 or even selling an in the money put credit spread. Provided that momentum can be maintained, the dip should the any dip should be a buying opportunity into those targets. And I hope that gives you a helpful alignment with the broad index for tomorrow. And then one equity to look at inside that. You've got some pretty bullish action in Tesla here up 11% after reporting earnings. And if that path for the S&Ps is any good, well, then any weakness down into this area for Tesla, just back into today's range, should be a dip buy on a path up into 167.5. So that's where I've been most active. Again, I hope it gives you a helpful roadmap for your Friday trading. You guys have a good rest of your evening, and I hope to see you in one of the rooms tomorrow. Hey traders, this is Henry with SimplerTrading.com. I wanted to thank you for watching today's video. I hope you found it helpful. And if so, be sure to click the like and subscribe buttons down below. If you would like to also see me putting these ideas into action and trading my own account live in front of you, be sure to sign up at SimplerTrading.com and I hope to see you in the chat room sometime soon.